In today's video, we are taking a look at a common craft item, just what it's made of and what you can do with it. Guys, we have got a lot of hot glue sticks. 120 of them to be precise, and these are the jumbo ones. Now, recently I saw a video with Draw with Jazza where he made a hot glue stick sculpture. I've seen this done on the internet before, but I want to try it myself. I also want to try a few other things with these, see just what we can do with them. Guys, if you've ever done crafts before, you've probably used a hot glue gun. They are incredibly versatile, and they use what's called a thermoplastic adhesive, and that is a hot glue stick. Very, very fun to work with, but there's other things that you can do with it. Now, I have seen this awesome internet phenomenon where people have actually managed to make sculptures out of hot glue. Draw with Jazza did this not too long ago, and it was awesome. I wanna try that, but I wanna try a few other things as well. Now, in the 1940s, I believe, George Schultz actually invented the first hot glue gun called the Polygun. There is somebody else who made a patent on it a little bit later, but the details have been lost. Now, since then, hot glue guns have changed. They've become incredibly uh, wide range. So this is probably my favorite hot glue gun that I use for projects. This is a high output, high heat, and precision tip hot glue gun that I actually just got from Walmart, and it works amazing. Now, I can use a lower heat type of thermoplastic adhesive or hot glue stick, but today we're gonna to be using a multi-temp and we're going to see just what it can do. Most of you are pretty familiar with how a glue gun works. You turn it on, you heat it up, and you insert a piece of thermoplastic adhesive into the back of the gun, and then you're able to actually use it for most projects. It sticks to metal, it sticks to wood, it sticks to glass, and it's incredibly easy to use. A line of glue, can go a very long way. But the fun part is, unlike most other glues, the dry time is incredibly quick as it cools. So it's incredibly versatile and very strong. But one problem that you do run into with hot glue sometimes is that it's more likely to stick to porous surfaces. Now this is a piece of wood, this is a piece of metal, and now that it's cool, Nothing sticks to the metal, but it is very bonded to the wood now. So you do wanna choose your craft items appropriately for the glue you're using. Hot glue guns are pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory as to how they work. You put the glue stick in, you plug it in, you pull the trigger. However, a lot of people don't know what's inside one, so I'm gonna sacrifice one of our baby ones today, pull it apart and show you. All right, so what you can see here is it's a pretty simple mechanism. You've actually got your trigger here that feeds your glue stick into a melting chamber, and the melting chamber simply outputs it through your nozzle. And you can see that it is all electrically heated, so there is a little on off switch over here on this other side. So while hot glue is an adhesive, it is still technically a plastic and it flows pretty well when it's coming out of a very hot glue gun. So I wanna see if we can actually mold some things with it and make a mold with it. Easiest way to do that, see if we can make some Legos. While we're letting those pieces cool, let's see if we can actually do the reverse. Instead of trying to mold something, we're going to try and actually make a mold form. All right, while we are letting our mold and hopefully our molded pieces cool down, I'm actually very curious to see what happens if you put hot glue in liquid nitrogen. So first off, let's try a regular hot glue stick. It's, uh, it's pretty malleable. I mean, the elasticity of these is pretty impressive, but I wanna know if we can change that with making it super, super cold. Definitely not happy about it. Oh, and I broke it. Well, still very solid, which is surprising because these other pieces just sort of snapped and crackled as soon as I put it in there, but... Oh, there you go. Well, that is a very dull sound. This definitely sounds like I'm just trying to hit a piece of very hard plastic. 
Not breaking though. That's surprising because some of the pieces, as you can see, just shattered in the liquid nitrogen. Let's try hot glue when it's actually melted. <laughs> well, that's an awesome way to make some cool patterns. So I expected the glue to just like stay on the surface or drop all the way down to the bottom of the pot like when we've dripped molten glass into liquid nitrogen. But this stuff actually made sort of a, a woven pattern. It's very three dimensional, that's cool. Well, we've tried super cooling our hot glue now. Now let's try superheating it. A hot glue gun is never going to get as hot as a map gas torch is. And I wanna see what happens if we just hold one under the flame. Fire? Almost. It does. It does light on fire. Well, that was a heck of a lot cooler than I was expecting it to be. This actually lit on fire. We actually had a little fire going down here on the pan, but we also had it shooting off in little fireballs. You can actually see we covered a lot of our glue sticks in tiny, tiny little droplets of molten plastic. Let's see how our mold and our uh, Lego pieces did. <laughs> well, that worked. Oh my gosh. These turned out remarkably well, and you can actually see on a lot of them, the little Lego logo actually pressed in really nicely. Sure enough, they go together. Hey Lego, I think this is your future because they stick together, but they're squishy. They're not gonna hurt if you step on them. <laughs> Let's see if our battering turned out. I think it did. Let's see. That absolutely worked. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some water in this. I wanna see if we can make an ice battering. Ah, that should work. We're gonna try and sculpt something. I cannot promise this is gonna turn out great because I have seen what other people have done. So I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these uh, hot glue sculptures. I wanna see what I can do. Well, I definitely cheated because I used some of the actual hot glue sticks as a base and to kind of make some branches, but I'm gonna call it a win. Ah. Oh, it's already starting to crack. Let's see, come on. Oh, okay, look, if this had been just a slightly thicker mold, this absolutely would have worked. That is cool. Nope, almost dropped it. So it would have worked. <laughs> so, can you mold hot glue in a silicone mold? Yes, you can. Can you even make your own mold out of hot glue? You can do that too so long as it's a little bit thicker than what I did. You can even sculpt with hot glue. It is an incredibly versatile adhesive thermoplastic and it is a lot of fun. So if you guys have found any other really cool uses for it, let us know in the comments below.
Guys, that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. That box up at the top will take you to our latest video, and that box at the bottom is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Hit this bomb in the middle to subscribe to the club so you never miss out on the fun. Don't forget to ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.